Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going over the top five players that you need in Mud right now, guys. Now, obviously, this video is going to be opinion based. Do not take it to an exact, you know, like they say, gospel, right? Like, do not take it as this is a. If you don't have these five players in your team, then every other player you have is bad. That's not true. These are five players that I personally like. I think they're great. I think they have all the makings of an end game card that's able to just sustain for quite a while. Now, the guy who's number five this list, I will get into. He has one caveat, but I will get into that in a second. But anyways, before we get into today's video, guys, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who is your overall number one player that you think every team needs to have in mode, regardless of the price, right? That's the point with this list, too. Price is not going to be a factor. Now, next thing. If you guys do need coins to pick up any of these players, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below. They have some of the cheapest coins on the internet. And if you use code Poodle, it gets even cheaper. You get 5% off with that code. But yeah, let's head into this. Let's go over everything, guys. Also, if you haven't checked out my morning video yet, go check it out, guys. You'll see some of the new power-ups, the LTD uh, Nat Drew Breeze, which was a super cool offer. Just make sure you're checking all that out. Now, every day says I have two packs in there. It's free agency welcome pack. I always have something there, and it never lets me. It didn't let me open it yesterday. It just glitches out and kind of tells me I have nothing. But I'm kind of used to that at this point. But um, yeah, so let's go down to the auctions and let's go check out some of these players. I'm coming at number five. This guy I actually really do like. I think he's a great, great corner. And again, physicality matters a lot to me in terms of like, I played enough Madden to know that a smaller, less strong corner can get bodied on certain animations that just should never happen. But bigger corners actually box out. They kind of like the tight end effect. And that's why I'm such a big fan of this Night Train Lane card. And that's why he's in my number five. Uh, Night Train Lane has that physical build that just bodies people, right? Six foot one, 194. But it's the other stats, right? So what matters to me is that he's going to get an 80 strength powered up, as well as a 95 jumping, an 82 catching, a uh, 90 juke move, 75 catch and traffic. Now, here's the thing. 80 spec catch. When you have a good spec catch, catch, and catch traffic at corner, you're going to go up and actually get picks that look like you're almost a wide receiver. You're, like, you know, some cornerbacks can only get picks if they're thrown at them, and they can get a jump on it, right? If it's a jump ball, the cornerback's trying to, you know, just to break up the pass. But Nitrain Lane and Dion, they're the kind of guys that actually go up and just completely moss the wide receiver like the other wide receiver. So that's important for a cornerback. Now, yes, the speed only gets to 98, which is the one small caveat. But sometimes when you're on the taller side and you have 98 speed with crazy good jumping, agility, he's going to get 99 uh, man, 98 zone, a 99 press. He's just he's a great, great corner. I really do love him. And again, he might not be the he might not be end game like, you know, you may at one point get a corner that may be better than him. But again, you have three corners, four corners, essentially. That position, I really like him. Great change of direction. And of course, he also has a, um, what's it called? A good hit power. 96. He can get a 96 hit power, which is just crazy for a cornerback. So you can play in the run game, kind of like having a linebacker. So he's one of those guys. That's the other thing, too, is like, so, you know, typical football, right? If you're in the nickel set, running's going to kill it. If you're in the, uh, like, a 4 4 set, passing could kill it, right? But when you have Nitro Lane in the field, you can sit a nickel. If you have the right safeties in the box and you have the right cornerbacks like Nitro Lane and another physical corner on the other side, like a Darius Slay or the other guy just who got hit power. You could essentially have like a bunch of linebackers and safeties on the field because if you have a bunch of Deons, right, they get body too easily and it makes it very easy for them to just get kind of killed around in the run game. It comes a liability sometimes, you know what I mean? So definitely important to have guys like that on the field. Next, guys, uh, let's check out the next one. Just to get a cornerback real quick. This guy's just unreal. Like they really, they really did this card right. They did the first one right too. That's Ricky Jackson. Now, Ricky Jackson... Where is he? Okay, left us a linebacker for the New Orleans Saints. Let's see. Powered up and chemed up, right? He can get 95 speed, which is a great speed. Except he's an outside linebacker, so that's an amazing speed. 95 excel, but he, here's the key. He will get 99 block jet and 99 power move. So having those two things on the same pl player essentially means he's going to be one of the most dominant run stuffers and one of the most dominant pass rushers at outside linebackers, which means he's going to be great at stopping the outside run, setting the edge, as well as he can pass rush. So if they come out and pass, he's also going to come right off the edge screaming, right? He can do both things, which is great. He's 6'3", 238, 90 strength. He's going to have 87 jumping and 70 catching as well, which means, you know, those, like I've been saying, those certain defenses, like when in a when you're in a pinch real quick and you know that they're, you know, you, you have a great pass rush, you have a great D line, but you know they're not going to run the ball, but you also know it's going to be a quick pass, so a good pass rush isn't really going to help you. A quick read for like a first, and you know you you uh you audible your outside linebackers off the line like Ricky Jackson to a hard flat real quick or to a uh, you know a curl flat just to make them pop out real quick and disrupt a small a quick pass. But Ricky Jackson with that 87 jumping and 70 catching may jump a pass. At six foot three, as well as that 95 impact block and 82 change of direction, you may be able, be able to even use him. 
and he has 90 hit power, right? Now, yes, he's not going to be a play a play to play use. Like I said, he's in that extreme scenario where you get stuck on him, or you know you pop him out so hard flat where you got to use it for a quick slant that's going to throw someone off when you're running like a man press. Now that is when maybe you'd like to use him, right? It's not going to be the case every single time, but that's just kind of how it works. But moving on down, guys. So let's check out the next stuff. Um, number three this guy is just insane and he has crazy good he's a crazy good price still because of that reason he's coming down a little bit though he was 800k uh javon kears 90 overall we'll get to 99 powered up and chemed up of course now he's gonna have 99 finesse move but the key is just gonna be some of the intangibles like you know having a 95 speed 97 like you match him up with ricky jackson your pass rush is crazy fast right 95 speed 97 excel he won't get the 99 block shot but he will have 99 finesse move as well as get a few other stuff like you know the excel and the speed's crazy the agility for an end is crazy 91 agility 80 change of direction 91 impact blocking he also gets a uh, 94 hit power again i think ricky jackson's a bit better in my opinion ricky jackson's better but you know that's kind of the, that's kind of how it works you know you, know, you can't have both players exactly the same although you know it has happened right they got to keep they got to keep it a little bit different if they made them the same it wouldn't make sense uh halfback 97 overall this is my favorite halfback now the thing here is this is that yes the new uh on paper the new Herschel walker looks better i personally like the edger and james more now there's a, qu a few reasons right edger and james and Herschel walker both get 99 speed they both have high excel edger and james has way better trucking but I feel like many people don't truck and trucking doesn't really even work this year. I care more about the break tackle. So when all said and done, Edger and James have like a two better break tackle. I mean, sorry, Herschel Walker have a two better break tackle, but Edger and James has a better, um, I feel like he's better agility, better excel, or at least like they're all very similar, but the, to me it's catching, right? If I had to trade in trucking for catching, I'm probably taking catching every day of the week. Now, again, you can go with Herschel Walker. I'm going to put them as one A and two and one A and one B here. You know, if you want to go the other one, but Herschel Walker, like I said, Edger and James is an elusive back as well. And like I said, he will get the catching, which to me is important. And of course, he will get the, uh, what's it called? Break tackle. Like his break tackle is good again. He gets the 79 uh, shell route running, which I really like. So power to him to put in the 80 route running threshold for short and catching. So when it comes to the end of the day, right? When they go head to head, they're super similar. But Edger and James will probably truck a guy one out of every five attempts more than Edger and James will. But Edger and James, out of any routes of the backfield, which I run a lot of routes out of the backfield, we'll run them crisp, we'll run them smoother, we'll make better cuts, which meant better cuts out of the backfield leads to better turns up the field, right? So when they run those sloppy routes and you throw it, it's a slow process, which then leads to less yardage. If they run crisp routes like that, that's when you can hit them up, hit, you know, hit them right in stride and get them upfield. So I, I really like a back that can catch. And now, guys, for number one on the list, this guy is really good. Now, again, it's, this wasn't like in any specific order, so don't, don't take it again, like quite literally. But let's see, 98 overall. Um, the new LTD that we just got not too long ago, Darius Slay is absolutely insane as well. Now, Darius Slay will get 99 speed. That's all you got to know. 99 speed of corner, 6 feet tall, great height. He'll get 97 Excel. But here's the thing. He gets 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press, and 99 speed. He's 99, 99, 99, 99. 99, right across the board pretty much in stats that matter as well as a 94 jumping he has above 80 catching as well so he's gonna have like that night train lane dion effect 95 change of direction which is great 85 spec catch again dion and a uh, night train lane effect now catching traffic in the 70s as well his tackling will at least be an 80 which is good because dion is too low and 86 hit power that's why he's the highest up there like, you'd pair him up with uh you know night train lane you put dion in the slot you have a you have a squad right there these cards are absolutely insane the block shot 72 isn't that bad at all but yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, if you need coins, head over to my coin bank down below. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.